Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. So this is the episode we have been building up for you. We have been so excited to get here today. After a full day of traveling, we are now in Costa Rica. And we are going to take you along on our journey to be able to discover this place that we were at in 2016. We've come back. We loved it so much at that time. And this is where we're going to get to see monkeys and iguanas and a lot of other things. We welcome you to join us. One of the things I wanted to point out is this is how much gear we traveled with. We each brought one carry-on and then this is regarded as a personal item bag. Mine is a camera bag so this is what I carried all of my camera gear in. That's what we were able to get away with because we're coming to a sunny destination with very hot temperatures. We were here in 2016 and it was a work event for me, um, but it doesn't mean we did any work. This is where we came. It was a, it was a reward for those of us in the office that uh, basically qualified to come here. And Shannon and I had such a great time. It's like when you go with your office, in our case we had like 40 playmates, people to go out and do things. We were out on a catamaran. We were out. Um, I went out and did a, a, a jungle excursion on my own uh, with other people that were uh, also paying the tour guide. So this is something that we knew felt good to come back to this same place. And we were really lucky. We got a driver today. His name is Francisco and Katerina, Katerina is the name of his niece. And he was sort of showing her the ropes because he also does tours. So anyway, they did a great job. We were very happy that they were the ones that ended up picking us up. And we're going to be arranging um, another ride back to the airport on the day that we're leaving to, to go with the same company. So anyway, beautiful place. Oh my God, bottle of wine and then there's some fruit. So we're here for eight nights. We're here for a total of eight nights. Oh my God. So this is what we're excited to share with you. So stay with us. Good morning. This is day one of our time here in Costa Rica and I'll tell you I am just absolutely in love with this place. It's such a beautiful country. I went on a walk this morning. Uh, the time difference is one hour from where we are in southwestern Ontario which would be the same as Toronto, um, Eastern Standard Time. So it wasn't really a big 
it wasn't a big switch to uh, move to their time zone. We actually gain an hour by being here, an hour of daylight, but we lose an hour of sleep. And uh, so anyway, I went out on a walk this morning and I had a chance to listen to monkeys. I heard a howler monkey. Males make this aggressive sound. And I think that what they do is they are uh, just establishing their territory so that other howler monkeys will know where he has staked out his territory and his um, family group, which would be made up of females and young. Uh, that would be his young. So I don't know a lot about the different animals that are living here in Costa Rica. And that's what I'm striving to do is I've brought along my nature guide that I bought the last time I was here. And I read a little bit of that on the plane. So I'm slowly accumulating information, but um, I know there will be lots of things I won't be able to identify, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that. What I will strive to do is bring you lots and lots of beauty. So Shannon and I just finished our breakfast. I'm out here on our balcony because she was telling me as she was waiting out here for me that she lo saw a lot of, um, you know, parrots. And I saw them when I was out on my walk, which I just did along the main road. Uh, just outside of the resort and uh, she says oh yeah they're flying around in the trees here so that's what I'm hoping to capture and other than that we're going to make our way down to the beach eventually and bring the camera with me so I'm really glad that you're on this journey with Shannon and myself I'm just uh, awestruck with the beauty and I know I've been here before it doesn't matter it's like seeing all of the regular things that maybe local people get to see every day and feeling like you are the most privileged people on the planet for living here. Shannon is just uh, wrapping up things with a tour guide. Uh, we have just booked a tour for tomorrow morning which is Saturday morning and we are going on a tour of the mangroves out of Tamarindo, the town closest to where we are. And uh, we did that last time we were here in 2016 so we're really excited because this time I'm going to be bringing my camera to be able to film any sort of highlights. So I think we saw crocodiles the last time we were here. So we are also booking with the tourist. Um, it's a hike for me through the rainforest, so we're just uh, working it out with our travel agent. It's either going to be Sunday or it's going to be Monday. My birthday is Tuesday and we already have dinner plans in place. So this kind of tour will start at 7.30 in the morning and finish at 7 at night because we're three hours from the rainforest uh, from our resort. So it takes a quite, quite a bit of driving that gets added into it. So. That's the kind of stuff we have on the go for today. And then Shannon and I are going to have a walkabout and go out to the ocean. We're already dressed with our bathing suits on and it's, gosh, it's only quarter after 10 in the morning, but it's getting pretty steamy. Uh, they don't have the humidity we have at home. When they give you the temperatures 30 degrees, it's 30 degrees or maybe 31. So I don't think it's quite that warm yet, but uh, it's heading there.
So we've been back here at the hotel for probably uh, about half an hour or so because Shannon and I were sitting out by the pool and uh, it was really interesting. People are very friendly and they come up and chat with you. Um, that's where I had a chance to meet Nicola from Germany. He was, uh, he, he uh, and I had a good visit because he's gone on some wildlife tours and so he saw my camera, which I had down uh, by the pool because we'd come from the ocean and that's where I was filming some birds. So we talked about the different animals we've seen. Um, and then uh, we ended up meeting a lot of Canadians. Discovery Tours um, operates out of Canada and there was a, I don't know, a whole tour of them that are at this resort for the exact same amount of time as us. So I thought that was really interesting because <laughs> We ran into some people from Calgary, and then we ran into this older gentleman that is from Ottawa. <laughs> so we started seeing a, a pattern, and he said, yeah, they're from the Discovery Tours. So anyway, that was pretty interesting. Now, uh, we have made a couple of plans. So tomorrow morning, which is Saturday, we are gonna go on a, like a river tour, uh, not to be confused with river boat, which is a nice fancy th way of being able to see different countries. This is a river tour where we are going to go through a mangrove and hopefully see some crocodiles. And then on either Sunday or Monday, because the tour spot for me has to be confirmed, but I'll be going on my own uh, into the rainforest. So that's going to be a full day thing, something like seven in the morning till seven at night, because it's going to take two and a half, three hours just to get there. So uh, you figure it's about six hours travel time, so six hours to actually spend there. So anyway, so I'm really looking forward to that. So anyway, so we have some great experiences ahead. And uh, this morning, I must say my highlight was being able to see the howler monkeys. So my first, uh, the first one I got to see was the male and I heard him. <laughs> Actually, there is a young fellow from Costa Rica who says, oh my goodness, they're, they're rare. You don't get to see them. And, and so I felt kind of proud that I'm the one that pointed it out because I recognized the sound from the time Shannon and I were here uh, in 2016. And then there were some people from the hotel, from the, the resort, who told me that there was a family just up the road. And uh, so I ended up finding them. So some females and uh, some young ones. I don't know if that male is from the same group because typically it's one male and then he has his, uh, uh, his harem, I guess, of females. So anyway, that's what's going on right now. And we're just having some downtime. And we're, this is a country where, just like in Hawaii, the, the daylight is pretty much the same every day of the year. So here, sunrise is around 6 o'clock. Sunset is around, you know, six o'clock as well. So 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of nighttime. And we found that in Hawaii. It, was, it started at something like seven in the morning till 7 p.m. So we're gonna have more critters to be able to show you in the coming days.
When our boat was on its way out on its tour, our guide spoke with this person in Spanish and arranged to pick up some fish on his way home so he would have fish for dinner. So he promptly jumped out of the boat, walked ashore, and the fisherman showed him the three fish he had selected. So this fisherman, in his conversation with our guide, showed him the catch, and he opted to keep only the male fish, releasing the female fish. That's their way of making sure that they keep the population strong, releasing the female so they can continue to lay their eggs for the next generation. <laughs> Can we send off Salvador correctly? Yeah. <laughs> Free lunch, man. All right. After the fish were gutted, our guide went and collected his fish, paid the fishermen, and we continued on our way. It's not a problem. Anything is good for <laughs> so that's a wrap for part one of our trip to Costa Rica. Please join me for next week where we are going to see Costa Rica in greater detail in part two. <laughs>